What's going on guys, ZFreeZone here and today we're with another build video. As you can see I've got the war torn rhino behind me which is marvellous in its stance. And I also found these new sickles, war sickles. Uh, they act like daggers which is pretty cool. I haven't found them in the world yet but um, they were just in the admin panel so I thought I'd start playing with them. And also this survival axe is really nice as well. Just have a look at the stats on those so you get an idea. But um, that is going to be that, and I wanted to show you guys this Rhino too. That little animation of climbing up on it is fantastic. They need something that with the horse as well. But as you can see, just getting off is normal. But I like that animation, you know. So let's get straight into this because behind me you can see we got a drawbridge here, and the drawbridge is going to be the main defence, other than the door stack. And as you can see, the doors have been taken off just to make this a little bit easier. Uh, this guy needs to stay because we have not got room for a rhino in this build. Even though we've got everything in there, we don't have room for a rhino. So if you come over here, the handle is very hard to see because you can't see it. It's inside the rocks. But if you hit that button, obviously this will just come up and close you in. And you can sit here with a repair hammer and repair this all day and you should be good. But other than that, if they get through there, you've got the door stack in here which is going to take a lot of effort especially if you are online it's going to take a lot of effort to get through these guys so and then we come into the crafting room over here and as you can see we've got the armors bench here we also have the normal armors bench over here we've got a kiln and fluid press grinder the kitchen bench the stove and a fridge over here and we also got a carpenters cauldron dryer and blacksmith as you can see everything's here kind of packed up into this little area and we even got room for a carpet and there's still plenty of room here for other stuff as well say if you need another two cauldrons you could fit them in here easy so that is good right there and also a tanner we haven't got the tanner down at the moment but the tanner could fit here no problem as well so keep that in mind there's plenty of room for those guys you could even fit a tanner up here but as you can see this is the bedroom and my little bar, so we needed a bar, so we had to sacrifice a tanner just for a bar here. But I think it's worth it, having a bar over tanner, because we could always put tanners down anywhere we want. But as you can see, this thing is stacked out beautifully. We've got some musical instruments here, which is fantastic. And we've got our own little dancer, and we've got our own little bars. And we've got another fridge in the back there, but everything is here. We've got the fridge down the bottom as well for easy access. But as you can see, everything is here. It's quite a nice little spot, this one. And there's enough room for two levels with ease. And enough room for all the benches that you will need. And I'll just show you with that tanner going down. It is quite easy. If you don't have this menu, it's called the Creative Menu. And you can get the mod off the Steam Shop. So there you go, there's your tanner. Easy placeable. You could probably even get two in there, you know. I wouldn't be surprised if you could. We might need to move it back a bit, but I'm sure you can get to in there if you try. Um, but yeah, that is the build for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed that because I enjoyed building that one. So as you can see, there, there's plenty of room for anything that you really want. And let's go back out. So we'll grab this guy here. There we go, and that will lower that. Uh, you can always take this off and put it back on if you go out. So you can um, lift this guy up from this point. Lift him up and he'll go up. You can walk out. And then when you come back home you can just pick this up and then put it back on down. So that's how you'll use the drawbridge. But it's all the same as usual. But that's going to be it for this round. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been checking out a lot of the weapons. And a little sneak preview for you guys. These are it here. So I'm going to slowly go through these guys. Well, not slowly, but I'm going to go through them. So if you want to pause the video and see what these things actually do and the damage they give, you can do so. But at the same time, these are all from the admin panel. And these have been the interesting ones for me. I've um, found a few different ones like katanas with cold. Uh, heat, there's a lot of cold and heat weapons. There's a lot of acid weapons now. There's some really good stuff like that one there. 
and the, even the cleansing one this guy is beautiful but there is a lot of stuff um, a lot of new stuff it's going to change up the game for pvp so much but it's going to be interesting at the same time it's good to have a fresh set of weapons come through and obviously we have got a lot in this update and this goes on for a while and there you go so lots of stuff there well we need to go through that in more detail later on but you know finding different tools like this is fun so it's good to get in there but i'm z free zone and if you guys check out the discord you get some early access on these videos and you'll see me there with my gamer tags and all that feel free to add me and also go to facebook make sure you hit the subscribe button and that little bell icon other than that i'm z free zone and i'll catch you guys next time see you